Production support for award-winning News 6 has come from Whirlpool Corporation's Friendly Division, working to make your life a little easier. Additional support has come from the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation and from this public television station. Hi, I'm Annette Shetty from Franklin Elementary School in Fayette, Ohio. Today on News 6, we'll meet a lady who's crazy about dolls, find out how animal feed is made, and visit a hog stockyards. Hi, and welcome to News 6. I'm Brad Ruger from Franklin Elementary School in Fayette, Ohio. Here with our first story is Brad Bieber. Monday through Saturday, areas, area farmers travel to the local stockyard to sell their hogs. We went to the stockyards to find out what happens to the hogs after they arrive. Since 1871, a stockyard in Fayette, Ohio has played a major role in getting hogs from the farmers to the packing plants. Presently owned by Luggabill Brothers Incorporated and known for years as Colgrove Brothers Stockyards. Mr. Short, where do the hogs come from? Well, they come from the area farm zone within a radius of probably 40 miles of this, this uh, yards here. And uh, the reason the farmers bring them in here, a lot of farmers just have a little farm trailer. They haul six, eight, ten hogs, and it would be much too far to drive to a packing company. So we buy them here and then send them on in semi-loads. What process do you go through before shipping the hogs off to the packing plants? Well, when the farmers bring them in here, they have their own trucks and trailers. Some of them hire a commercial truck to haul them in. They uh, unload them here at our yards. If there's any cull pigs, real small ones or anything, we sort them out before we weigh them. We run them across a scale, and, uh, and then we get them ready for different plants, different weights and different grades, go to different packing houses. Where do the hogs go to? For the different plants we sell to. There's one in Worthington, Indiana, one at Troy, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, Sandusky, Ohio. That catches most of them. How many hogs did you buy in 1986? Well, 1986 was a record for us here at the Fayette Yards. We bought 92,000 hogs, and they were valued at a little over $10 million. Thank you, Mr. Short, for telling us about Luggabell Stockyards. Today's show is being produced by Miss June Eicher and Miss Linda Hodges, sixth grade classes at Franklin Elementary School. Fayette is located about 44 miles west of Toledo. The town was founded in 1872 and has a current population of 1,222. Playing with dolls has been a favorite pastime of young girls for years and years. We recently talked with a woman who's taken this hobby one step further by being a doll collector. Mrs. Jones, how did you get interested in doll collecting? I always liked dolls as a child, but coming from a family of eight, I was the youngest. We never had money for dolls. So as I grew older, uh, secretly back in about the 1950s, I started collecting, buying for my daughter, but buying dolls I liked. That's how I got started, collecting. About how many dolls do you have? I think I have about 106 all together. I have some with the bisque heads and the composition bodies from Germany. I have some with leather bodies, composition heads from Germany and France. Some are paper mache and some I have gotten from, uh, oh, like Japan and some of the other countries. England, I have some alls for dolls from England. What's your oldest doll? Uh, this one is my oldest doll, and I think probably she dates back to about the 1870s. She's a little Recknagel doll with a papier-mâché body. Do you have a favorite? 
Yes, this is my favorite. She's a little Armand Marseille Ruth doll. She's my favorite because she was my first bisque doll that my husband bought me. Mrs. Jones, thank you for showing us your dolls. Fayette Green and Feed Mill makes and sells food for different kinds of farm animals. We visited the mill to learn how the food feed is made. Mr. Groff, what kind of animals do you make feed for? For hogs and cattle, some lamb, some goats. What are the main ingredients for making feed? We well, have grain and protein. Your uh, main grain is corn. Main protein is soybean meal and meat and bone meal. Could you explain the process the feed goes through? Well, we they just ground a load of feed out here. The corn is weighed through the scale, and it's dropped into the grinder. Grinder grinds it up and blows it into the mixer. Then they take the the uh, weigh buggy scales and go back and get the protein, the supplements, mix it into the mixer. They're mixed together. If there's any vitamins or anything that goes with it. And then uh, uh, after it's mixed, thoroughly mixed, then you load it into the bulk truck. How do you know how much of one thing to put in the feed? Well, you have to know what animal you're making the feed for. If it's a little pig or if it's an old sow or uh, if it's a fattening hog, each ration, each animal, uh, gets a different ration, so you put in different feeds or different amounts. About how much feed do you sell in a day? Well, that varies a lot. It's hard really to say. Uh, some days we'll make uh, 100 tons and some days less. Thank you, Mr. Groff, for showing us how you make the feed. That's all for this week's show. Join us next time when News 6 travels to Maumee, Ohio.